Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. This will be your reading for the month of September. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so may not resonate for everybody. Take what does and leave what doesn't. And please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So um, I'll be reading from the coffee cup and then I'll be pulling out some cards. This is the Light Seers Tarot deck that I have here. And also I have the lovely um, Kali Oracle deck here. Beautiful um artwork and, and written work also in this deck okay all right gemini let's begin hmm. there are a lot of revealing truths coming through coming out something is very revealing something is coming about that will be very revealing to you to others i see something is going to be restored from all that is about to be revealed or is happening currently something is coming through and it's kind of like a sharp intense energy but it's like once it, it, it comes out, everything is that you're able to relax your shoulders. You can relax after this. It kind of, you know, uh, uh, like hope is restored. There's, there's, there's lots of love there as well. And I'm not talking necessarily about romance. You know, it, if it is to do with that um, or, or, or it isn't, it's that the subject here you know, remains the same. So you could be in a situation where it's romantic or not, but if there is uh, things coming through that's very revealing. And I do see, in fact, for some of you, it is in connection with your job, with your work, something that you've kept quiet for a long, long time, something that you've known deep down. And it's like it's been a waiting game. You've been very, very patient your patience has been tested as well. And that's why when something here is exposed, it's like, aha, uh -huh. it's coming through and, and, and something is being really kind of like uh, looked into and you are put into a very good light from this, you know, and it's like all this time of you not being able to say anything or having to keep it to yourself, um, Pay, pays off in some way and it's like it's it's the quiet ones <laughs> that perhaps know the, the most and that could be you or something there it's like yeah you, you've just been waiting for the the right moment for something to happen and from this i can say that in in this cup there are several wish fulfillments about to come true leading on from from what is about to to come out as well There's something about going back to your roots, Gemini. Going back to your roots. Going back to um, the who you who you truly are. You know, never gets taken away from you. There's something here. There's like a moment that you're going to feel very proud of where you're from, proud of what you've accomplished, who you are, who you've become, and all thanks to your roots. This is very interesting message that I'm seeing here, but something to do with your roots. It has power. And even if your background is not as smooth as some others, you're very grateful for it because it's leading you down. It's already led you down certain paths that's been, you know, very, um, it's, it's given you a, an amazing life experience and a lot of successes along the way. And also that's coming through as well. I'm seeing here something about a book, a script, something here you're writing or you're reading, you're working with. And that could be a specific message just for the few. But that is like, there's an ongoing process here, ongoing, you know, uh, business meetings, negotiations, things like that. 
I'm also seeing something here that you're handling your finances much better. You could be working with a new team, new accountant, or something is being like resolved. Um, a few things are being highlighted that you weren't aware of before. Uh, when it comes to the finances or things like in connection to that. Um, so now it's like your the responsibility is changing and it's 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 just it's something is being fixed and you're being more responsible and cautious is what I'm seeing here, being more cautious about it. So something was supposed to be done and it wasn't and now like, you know, you're you're kind of uh uh removing people or something there that just wasn't really doing the job or wasn't very good for you and your house also there's some there I do see maybe there's some problems with your house uh time to fix that as well I do see maybe like you you know it says the back of your mind but you've put it off and you know that kind of procrastinating in September is like this month of like right this is my new year for the home if that makes sense for the house like right I'm going uh, it's it's now or never kind of thing yeah that attitude that is coming through as well so there's lots of things around the house that I'm seeing that you're you're finally like getting around to doing it and and all of that a few things that are broken you're throwing out but I know it's specific but I do see that or random um beware of a snake around you beware of someone that is you know, a little bit, uh, they could be conniving, something like that. There is someone around there that is, you know, uh, wishes that you would believe and trust them. That's what they want. But I see you seeing straight through them and you pity them. There's something here that I'm seeing that you actually pity them. There is, uh, you're wanting a holiday, like a leisure. You know, um, you could be planning to actually go on a break. That's an actual break, not a trip that supposed to be a break and it's not a break you know because I feel like maybe you've, you've had quite a few of those but this is one that you're actually wanting to go far far away switch your phone off and not hear or listen to anything away from all of it <laughs> is what I see here and uh and swimming also I'm seeing swimming you're managing to really go through something really well there is also for some love interest some uh Something promising with a love interest coming through. Not for all. Um, yeah, it could be just for, for some. But there's something here again with your patience, Gemini. Many things are being paid off with your patience. Like the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords, Gemini. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. The Four of Swords. Yeah. Yes. The Revelations. Something revealing coming through. You hold something very powerful, truth, knowledge, wisdom. You have so much to give to show the world. You're ready and you're ready to receive the successes of what you can show out there. With the Ace of Swords, it's something is being aligned, something is, you know, matching. And that could be the time, it could be the planets it could be something is happening around you the energy that when it clicks it clicks and something then is coming through like i said there's there's a victory is on your side truth is on your side so and this is great confirmation for that the ace of swords um you will be in a much better place and here the, the healing comes from something that is uh being let out spoken about I do see here with the four of swords needing to rest, relax, give yourself a break and be good to yourself. Here with the four of swords. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the nine of pentacles. Okay. These two. Okay. I felt like these two had to come together. Very interesting. The nine of swords, three of swords and the four of wands. Look at that. Amazing card, heartbreaking card, amazing card. So, um, after, it's like after you go through this period of some sort of healing of this break, uh, you're ready to kind of, I see you straightening up. I see you standing up and going, right, on with it, not going to be stopped, 
facing a few things that were very painful in your past and you're going through them. Something that, you know, also having to learn and realize that people are not who they seem, because I was seeing that in the cup. Uh, having to go through that. But look, we're here with the Four of Wands. It is incredible because you come out so much better. There's something in your life that's changing, that's giving you this wonderful energy of um, an amazing stability that you've been needing for quite some time. Because I see there's been an imbalance, an imbalance is, is, is now finally happening for you, Gemini, here. The Three of Swords is a painful card, it can be, but there's an ending to certain relations or people situations uh, that you are removing, so you're able to have the four of wands, you're able to have a certain kind of commitment that you you want, you felt like you weren't allowed to have for, for whatever reason. And you know, you're using your, like I said, your resources here with the nine of pentacles. Things are growing, your finances, you're finding stability in your finances, something, you know, there's a lot of potential with uh, certain opportunities coming your way, you're having to really remove something. There's been a lot of, of um, things to tackle that may be painful, but it's all good and, and it doesn't last that long whatsoever. It kind of, this joy triumphs all of that. You know, this great foundation that you've created for yourself. And we have the Queen of Cups. Love it. And when they're here with the Queen of Cups, beautiful, loving energy here with the Queen of Cups. Beautiful, loving energy. Um, and it, it's revealing in the sense that there's an openness coming here. There is something here with the Queen of Cups that's saying to trust. You can trust this energy. You can trust this. It's when... There's a certain kind of calamity, and after that, when you, it's like you 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 realize, oh, things actually seem really calm. To trust in that calmness, if that makes sense, because maybe you're so used to having, um, you know, that kind of chaos, or because it's always constant, it's always constant. But there is something. Very transformative happening here. Solution. Things are being, you know, your 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 wisdom is growing. There's a lot of strength here and you're ready. You're ready. You're ready here to start anew. Something very fresh. A beautiful kind of productive period as well. And, and not afraid to connect to your heart anymore. Because you there's connections to your heart coming your way. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic. But there's something that is like, it is a beginning. Let's see what the Kali Oracle has. Bagala Muki. I think this one may have come out for another sign early on. And, but yeah, isn't it beautiful? Balama, ba, Bagala Muki. Uh, apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. She arrests the flow of negativity, particularly that of her own making. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which can create true happiness. As you seek refuge in her, in her, trust this one, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any form of negativity from others. A positive turning of the tide of good fortune is predicted. This relates so well to this reading. I'm telling you, every single sign it has related to so beautifully and deeply. Very powerful stuff, This, these oracle cards. I mean, the energy, you know, it's coming from you. A positive turning of the tide of good fortune is predicted. And as I said, something's coming through. The arrest, she arrests the flow of negativity, particularly that of her own making, transforms the karma from which hinders our joy. I mean, you know, and you find that true happiness. And look how it's all come out. Gemini, mm, love this. I really hope that this was helpful. Thank you, Gemini, so very much for being here. I hope that you're able to connect to this. And thank you so much for your support. Take care of yourselves. Until next time.